Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome to this coming week's reading. For this week I am uh, divining through tea leaves. I have a mixture of different herbal teas and fruity bits also, it smells so good. <laughs> um, and then I will be reading from the Mermaid Tarot deck here. Okay Capricorns, also do like, share, subscribe please and do hit that notification bell as well. Okay. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's see. Capricorn. <laughs> okay. There seems to be a growing distance here with someone, possibly someone you work with. Um, it's like you feel, your senses are getting stronger, your intuition, but you're really feeling like, hmm... Something is like, you feel you are gravitating away. Like, like the universe is showing you these signs. It could be away from a place, but it's, it's, you're starting to really know yourself more and more. And being away from any kind of negative influences. So perhaps if there's this growing distances from someone that, maybe had some sort of energy that just didn't suit you anymore and so you're really kind of finding your footing fine and, and having to really uh find have that grounding which is really important you know i do see that you're um something about you um being able to really read the room very, very well and read a person very well. And, you know, before anything happens, it's like you can, you can see it. Um, like you're outsmarting a situation here. And I do see that you're trying to have everything covered. You know, your, um, your finances, your accounts, something like that. Everything is... You want to make sure everything is covered. You're tying loose ends. And it's this feeling, it's this knowingness that there's going to be some sort of uh, change of circumstances in a good way. But I do see you becoming more and more independent in that way. Something feels very, um, like, like it's a lot larger. It's a lot bigger than what is there right now, what is in front of you. I do see you are tasked with some sort of responsibility um, that only you are able to really do it in the best way possible. And there's something about your work ethic or it's being, it's being admired, it's being, you know, a recognized seen as well. Um, it could be a slight increase in, in your income here or finding another source of income, like a side side thing as well. Um, I do see you looking for some downtime, wanting that peace, looking for that downtime. You just, you know, want to be away from the noise. Um, you know, you're growing a lot spiritually. And sometimes when when that happens, you sometimes it's uh, that hermit mode you want to be in or having your solitude, you know, trying to understand the changes of, of what you are feeling. Uh, but there's definitely an expansion here of your consciousness of many things around you. And I do see you're ready to surrender. There's something here you are surrendering to um, this kind of... Um, there's a nervousness here. There's like a something that you have held onto or wanting to know you surrender from that. If it's some sort of desire or ability you want to gain or um, want to be at a place, there's been a resistance. If you focus on it too much with some sort of like nervousness that can turn into resistance. So surrender, surrender all, surrender into something that you're not sure of. All of that talks about a surrender. And then you'll see how things start to come through. You'll watch how things start to appear and unfold in front of you, Capricorn. And you're going to be so glad that you did that. And it's very, very important. 
not necessarily the easiest thing or whatsoever, but it is important. I also see something about a brother figure connection here coming uh, in a good way. Could be visiting. So that's something specific that is happening here. Um, you could receive a, a gift or a message from something very loving from someone um, that perhaps you've also felt a little bit different towards as well but in a good way this is this is in a good way in a positive way you are i do see capricorn you're starting to really give back in a certain way not that you haven't done so before but you're giving back um because you truly want to and in turn you know you're receiving some good karma here you you you're Something I see starting to really align. Sometimes think good things happen, it's good to give back, and, and you'll be surprised by the changes that do happen. You know, it's the, your, the, the increase in your abundance also. And I do see you are like, um, like shaking hands, like you're, oh, seven of wands. You're um, having some sort of agreement or new contract or something here that it's like, oh, you're fulfilling a position of yours. You're fulfilling a good role here. Um, and you, again, you're looked upon quite favorably. Page of Cups, Seven of Wands, Page of Cups. And the Six of Swords. Yep. Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Yeah, look at that really trying to understand what is going on in your situation here and um but still being determined to see it through uh you're definitely not a quitter whatsoever and what i do see it's the seven of wands here is telling me also to be thorough be thorough about what you're looking into your whatever it is that you're researching investigating be very very thorough and you're standing up to what you um believe and you know with that you do get some um like aha moment a big aha moment here with the page of cups uh and i am seeing here is like oh okay there's there's a union that is happening there's a bond there's a connection there's a uh, that is starting to open up in a way of an offer here with the page of cups which it's like Okay, you've created this offer, you've, and you could be offering an idea, and you see yourself here with the Six of Swords feeling like you're meant to go in this direction. You're meant to go in this direction. Things will start to ease up for you um, because of, again, an important distance that you are uh, feeling okay the moon and the four of swords wow you are you know it's, it's talking about your senses are being heightened you're being guided and you're soon going to start to see things that that, that are on along your path that you're meant to see here with the moon something is going to be uncovered you're going to understand the whole picture a lot more something is going to be illuminated you know, and there's a lot, and, and, and because of this, it's like, you know, I was talking about having that downtime, having that peace, which you do receive as well. You realize like, okay, you don't need to be in any kind of chaos. That is, that, that's not where you necessarily want to be at. You know, you have a choice. This is saying that you have more than one choice and perhaps you want, um, you didn't, you weren't told that. You weren't given that sort of information. You didn't think that you do, but you do. Something is being uncovered and unmasked also. Nothing is going to be um, hidden from you, Capricorn. Like I said, you can really, really see the energy of a place. You can read the room very, very well. And you're going to do what's right for you here with the Four of Swords. Have that, that time... Um, for yourself which is really really important but you're definitely being guided in the right way and I do feel like there could be some sort of profound experience you know there's a lot more for you to learn and enjoy and experience 
you know, and before all of that starts to set in, and we're talking about the spiritual uh, growth and you and you know having that time for yourself. This is it. This is you're feeling these changes. It's very, it's very powerful. It's very important also because it's preparing you for um, a different life experience. The emperor, oh, the emperor. Different life experiences that are about to come through, ones that you will enjoy that you will feel relaxed with, that you will now know and be more certain with, here with the emperor, of how to delegate things, how to like um, manifest things and keep it. And, you know, I do, what I also sense that there's some delicate energy around you as well. Del some Something very, very delicate. You could have a pet around you, I'm so, some sort of pet or, or maybe, yeah, if it's a pet, then you have something, this delicate energy <laughs> with them. I know that's something specific. Um, but yeah, you are definitely in charge here with the emperor. And you're going to, you know, I also see you moving with grace. Like you're very, very strong, but you're, you're still very, very graceful with your strength. And there is a high, there's a much higher purpose to all of this. Definitely, it is showing there's a much higher purpose. Like you were meant for something so much uh, bigger and better. And here with the emperor, you receive this. There's some sort of treasure that I see. That this treasure box that's behind the emperor that is coming through for you, you know. Like you're sitting at your throne here as the emperor. You, what, what you speak has a lot of power and what you think and as it all aligns you really are kind of as it all combines and aligns there is something that starts to really spark and uh, create that in the physical world basically your goal here with the emperor you receive i also see something about you are very um it's justified or you receive justice as well with the emperor. You know, it's like big things are about to take place. And here you are ready for that. All this is preparation to be ready as the emperor. Oh, Capricorn, thank you. Wow, that was strong. <laughs> I really hope that this was helpful. Please do let me know. Appreciate all of you so very much. Please do take care. Until next time.